She speaks to me of life. My true motherland is her womb. She is how I stay grounded. She is where I stay grounded. Anywhere she is, I call home. The other day she told me to be careful who I trust and whose dome my secrets will be making their pilgrimage to. Mama, I know, Mama, and by saying what I'm about to say, I don't mean to blame you in any way for anything, but this world has already left me gasping for Toronto's frigid and smoky air far too many times. The irony is, the iron fist that has caused this was of my own sculpting. Mama, I wish you warned me sooner, Mama, but I'm still thanking you for the reminder. Mama, no, you never speak of your Yourself. Tell me what it was like to live and strive through eight years of war while the men of your family were on the forefront engaging in combat. Mama, tell me about the revolution, the protests, the losses, the gains. Mama, what causes your blood to boil? Tell me of your deepest fears. Did you play games in the streets without the thought of rapists and enemies? Did you ever shield yourself from goodness thinking you don't deserve it? Mama, tell me. I want to know what has caused all your scars and bruises, the wrinkle between your eyebrows, your favorite memories, your favorite times, the music you sway to and allow to take over your entire existence, shaking the living being out of each and every single cell inside you. Mama, and I know you're deeply in love. But tell me, have you ever had your heart broken? Have you ever looked for super glue in every house drawer and every store corner in an attempt to put the pieces together, but it's never there when you need it? Mama, tell me, have you ever felt so deeply that you were left numb by all the feelings, so numb that your bones are stiff and you can barely even bend them, so numb that you can get your wisdom teeth pulled out without any medication? Mama, tell me, have you ever felt confused? You always seem to know what you're doing. Have you ever felt lost in this minuscule grand of a world and feel like you're drowning in your own body, no room to breathe, too much dirt to be able to open your eyes and see? Mama, do you understand what I mean? I mean, I don't even know what I mean. I'm constantly in a state of confusion and internal chaos, even though I look like I'm shining on the outside, even though my smile is as ancient, long, and permanent as the river Karun in Iran, but it's losing its spark now. Mama, I apologize for my rambling. I don't know what I'm thinking, don't know what, why I'm constantly succumbed by my own failures, allowing them to define me. Mama, have you ever looked into the mirror and looked back with despite of the image you're faced with? Because the only thing I love about my reflection is seeing your smile on my face and about my long, beautiful eyebrows and eyelashes. Mama, it's not even about the outward reflection, it's about what's inside my dome and what my heart is telling. Mama, my spine is filled with pain and my smile is no longer apparent. Mama, your name has been beautifully etched onto my wrist. It's been deep, deep beneath my skin, alongside my veins, now aside from God and the two angels perched on my shoulders. You first-handedly witness all my sin, but I also pray that you experience the bliss, the blessings the same hand can bring. Mama, the last thing I ever want to do is disappoint you, Mama. And I'm not going to tell you I love you. That phrase has been too misused, overused, and abused. And I'm not in a position of wanting to be insincere in any way, so I'm telling you that you mean more to me than every single breath I have been gifted by God. Help me, Mama, save me, Mama. Mm. I, sit here, I sit here in solitude and silence. Even though my headphones are blasting with immortal technique and I'm in a classroom filled with social justice students, but I can imagine you replying, saying you're a warrior and you're standing, but remember to always stay humble and well-grounded. Your name means breeze for a reason, even though on the inside it storms your face. And just remember that only you can save yourself from your inner demons. I don't have your back. I'm right by your side on this mission. You have more potential than you think you've gotten as the breeze you are. Just take the time to listen to the rustling of the trees and leaves while you pass through them. They hold secrets. And I've noticed you not smiling, but that's okay. The sun isn't always shining, and even when it isn't, the moon and stars are replacements, just open your hearts and your minds and glisten. Warriors, warriors aren't made overnight. It takes years of lessons, experience, and resilience. Woo!